So Jennifer asks, uh, can I give a student access to all the reading level info I see as a teacher? I'm a homeschool teacher. I want the parent to see what I see as they are also the teacher. So this is a this is, this is a great question that's been around since Microsoft started building out teams for edu sector what good news do we have look yes i mean it depends when it comes to the teacher i mean they've got very specific sort of assigned areas between the teacher and the student so then you know what are you what are you putting into the student area so that they've got like you know if you're trying to do the teacher level stuff that goes to reading no because there's two very defined areas. And then when what you give the parent is then something else altogether, because you don't want to have all the parents to have complete access internally to your team for the students. So, um, you know, what the what the parent sees is something else, you know, altogether. So you, you've got to be careful around your access and what you actually provide, because you also don't want them to be playing around in areas that they shouldn't be playing around in. Yeah, what we need is specifically is just it's just another view. We need that parent view that's just a custom yeah. permission type. Yeah, yeah. Which the, I mean, it's not there at the moment for for the parents. I mean, it's like anything. I suppose we used to get the books put together for us to take home, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, you could you could give them access, but then that would technically be making them a student because the the education environment's a little different than a standard teams. Yep. And in some education environments, the teachers, the instructors would not be doing any provisioning. It would probably mm -hmm. be happening automatically using school data sync, yep. right? So all of that class roster provisioning is happening automatically. So the ability for the instructor to to override could come with consequences. Uh, yep. But what is interesting on a related note, because the the parent, the parent support for a student, we can see that on the the Microsoft 365 roadmap where they are making inroads to have a uh, um, a connection, if you will, from the the teacher, the instructor can now contact the parents that in the future state uh, that they'll Speaking they'll generate, and that'll probably be included in the uh, the school data sync. So the ability for a teacher to reach out and connect. That doesn't exactly speak to this question, but it's very related and it's maybe one of those first stepping stones towards having that that parent view into the classroom while respecting all of the different rules that they have to observe inside of an EDU. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the student can get, you know, kind of reading progress sort of thing as part of sort of assignments and and making sure that there's sort of different things like, you know, the reading coaches on and, you know, it's like it depends on, you know, what kind of depth are you talking about and what is it that you're asking to give reading over? Because there's so many different areas and facets when you set up your your team. It's like, well, what do you want them to be able to read? Because there's various areas that you could be potentially engaged on too. Yeah. It's why it's good to there's provide. There's questions for the questions as always. Yeah, yeah. well, I, there's always with something like this too. No, that's not there yet. As you said, like go and look, take a look at the roadmap and see which things that Microsoft has already stated that they're working on, that they're making progress again against. Go and upvote items, um, leave comments. If you have experience with another platform, another vendor that has done an aspect of this, this feature set correct, then then outline that and say, hey, this vendor, one, two, three, they provide this functionality, this is what we're able to do. This is exactly the kind of access we need into Teams. So just be very prescriptive yeah. with your feedback to Microsoft to, to yeah. make sure, and again, uh, if, if you're asking for something that you don't find in the roadmap, I mean, that you can go and, and add an item and get other people to vote for that, then Microsoft will respond to it. Yeah, look, another, I mean, an alternative is also, look, if it's the, if it's, in the OneNote and there's certain specific things, you can do a share and do a, a reading, like a view, not an edit, share and put it in as like a web page maybe. Do you know what I mean? You could sort of come back around and bring it back in again with a with a share that way maybe. Why not a OneDrive? You know, that's kind of a... Why not put that stuff out there? Yeah, if, you know, you know, if you have the emails of the parents, do that. They want to submit, they want to be able to see that. Yeah. Like you can share maybe, info that way. 
don't put certain put certain information in a different kind of way to be able to share it back in again. It's just then taking an alternate or another type of, you know, uh, it's just a standard OneNote rather than the actual team that's education. You could get a OneNote that's a little different, like it's more of the standard environment um, and put information, create it uh, where it sort of flows over even. You could have it like even replicating over for some you know way and then have that shared back into the team for the students so they get, you know, so it's just, but it, I mean, it's a roundabout way. Yeah. But it's an alternative, you know, trying to use a different way or another tool and bring it back in through a just a insert the tab web link to something. <laughs> well, I have to say if, if, if any teachers out there are interested, I sell some replication software so I can help automate that in a big way. Oh, it, it's going to cost you. But, <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, there's alternatives at the moment, you know, but yeah, nothing that I know of specifically.